Welcome to Red Top 5 channel. Here are 5 of the most dangerous. So do not go anywhere and be with us. Hello and welcome to the Red Top 5 channel. Please subscribe us and if this video is interesting for you press the like button and leave your comments for us in the comments section. 5 of the world's scariest paintings. In general, we think of gorgeous vistas, bright landscapes, water lilies, or dazzling portraits when we think of art. We give you a ticket to sorrow today, into the abyss of the artistic imagination, into the deepest depths of the human predicament. This section contains information about the world's five most terrifying artworks. Number 5 Johann Heinrich Fussli, The Nightmare in 1781 Johann Heinrich Fussli, 1741-1825, was a Swiss-born British painter. He has an early interest in strange topics, which are rarely portrayed at this period. The nightmare is the pinnacle of his painting, depicting a lady in a difficult dream, embodied by the devil looming over her and the head of a horse, which was an important feature of nightmare legend at the time. For modern analysts, this artwork serves as a precursor to Freudian beliefs about the subconscious. Some may see the devil as an allegory for male passion, and the horse's entry through the curtain as a metaphor for the sexual act. In any event, the painter has never revealed the allegorical significance of this disturbing piece of art. Number 4 Edward Munch of the Murderer in 1910 With his painting The Scream, Edward Munch, a Norwegian artist regarded one of the founders of Expressionism, created History, 1893. He was also known as a gloomy master, having created several works depicting crime scenes or killers.k.n. Svartbacon, a Norwegian criminal who was publicly decapitated in 1876 for killing a 19-year-old adolescent with an axe while going home in a sleigh, is clearly referenced in this artwork. According to some art historians, this painting depicts the hidden face of Munch's iconic screen, with the protagonist displaying obvious distress in the face of his assailant's menacing walk. Number 3 Bill Stoneham, The Hands Resist Him in 1972 Bill Stoneham, a Californian artist, produced this work, which is also known as eBay's Haunted Painting. It shows a livid young kid and a practically human-sized doll in front of a black glass door through which multiple hands are bending. When this painting was put up for sale on eBay in February 2000, it was accompanied with a distressing description of the family who owned it, saying that their four-year-old daughter had seen the child and his doll fighting and coming into her bed late at night. Photographs from a CCTV camera showing the doll clutching what appears to be a pistol were added to this description, and more terrifying stories backed up this incredible curse. Despite the fact that this narrative turned out to be a well-crafted hoax, the misery sent by this picture originates mostly from its power of suggestion, since the artist has created an infinite field of interpretation. Number 2 Odilon Redden, The Smilling Spider in 1887 Symbolist painter and printer Odilon Redden, 1840-1916. His occult esoteric world investigates mind and dream mechanics. In this piece, he depicts a spider, with ten legs instead of the normal eight, executing an asymmetrical dance while smiling mischievously. A subliminal interpretation would lead us to believe that the painter's tiny devil, represented by this enigmatic beetle, likes expressing his latent wishes via art. My drawings are a source of inspiration and cannot be defined, the artist has claimed repeatedly concerning the interpretation of his works. They put us in the uncertain region of the undetermined, just like music does. Number 1 Salvatore Rosa, The Temptation of St. Anthony, Indiana, 1645 Salvatore Rosa, 1615-1673, was a gifted painter in addition to being an actor, poet, and musician. He was one of the first really autonomous painters, having been born in Naples and raised in Italy his whole life. He produced various works that are characteristic of the romantic and picturesque movements, free of the influence of the church and royal power. The striking resemblance between the demonic creature represented in this 1645 painting and the creatures of today, as seen in video games like Resident Evil, and television shows like Stranger Things, is more than alarming. Thank you for being with us until the end of this video. If you like this video, please like it and press the subscribe button to support us. Also send us your comments and suggestions in the comments section or via email.
We are happy to be able to improve the quality of our work according to your comments and suggestions. Goodbye.